Electricity was known to Indians thousands of years ago when it was unknown to the rest of the world. Somewhere between 4000 and 2000 BC, an Indian sage, Agastya, described a method to make electric battery which resembled the modern one invented much later in the 18th century. The ancient text of Agastya Sanhita not only describes the method of making electric battery but it also mentions the process of electroplating and splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen. Rishi Agastya has described use of five materials in the battery that are earthen pot, copper plate, copper sulfate, wet sawdust, and zinc amalgam. In this method, an earthen pot is taken in which a clean copper plate is placed. The copper plate is then covered with copper sulfate above which moist sawdust is placed. To avoid polarization, a zinc amalgam sheet is placed on top of sawdust. A contact would produce an energy known by the name Mitra Varuna. Here Mitra is the cathode and Varuna is the anode. When the reaction takes place, water is split into pranvayu that is oxygen and uran vayu that is hydrogen. With some tactic, the uran vayu thus created can then be trapped into an airtight cloth. If this is achieved owing to self buoyancy of uran vayu, it is possible to build a structure capable of flying in the air. In order to intensify the power of electricity, a chain of 100 sajjas known as shatkam is to be connected. When a cell was formed using this method and measured with a digital multimeter, it had an open circuit voltage of 1.38 volts and a short circuit current of 23 milliamperes. Not only this, Agastya Sanhita also contains an account of using electricity for electroplating. So now, we can proudly say that it was Rishi Agastya who actually gifted the world the basic method of generating electricity.